Thanks, Ken. You know, you don't have to look around Nashville too long to find a guitar. A lot of people make them, a lot of people restore them, just about everyone plays one. Well, Rob Wiles met an artist in Franklin who plays with guitars for her own special creative reason. A guitar can be used to tell a story in the hands of an artist who can actually coax a tail out of this thing. Or in the hands of an artist who uses it just like a canvas. An artist like Josephine Getz. Josephine Getz spends a lot of time on details, small things that go together to make a big impression. Always an artist, a while back, she decided she'd like to try making mosaics. And so, with the help of husband Gordon, she made one. We were in St. Augustine on our honeymoon, actually. And there was a little shop there that had mosaics in it, and him and I were amazed at it. And uh, we went home one day and said, let's just start this. So we took a hammer and we took a pillowcase and we started banging china. And we actually made our first piece that way. Didn't realize that you had to use a clipper. It took years to realize, but that's how we began our mosaic adventure. <laughs> so, an adventure, eh? It was an adventure <laughs> with a lot of cuts. <laughs> <laughs> we did put some of Nashville the show on here because his wife is in there. It wasn't long until another idea came to her, make a guitar tell a story by decorating it to reflect a person's life. Now finding that story and finding the pieces to illustrate it are parts of the process Josephine likes best. It's like a search into a family tree. I have to go online, I read about them first, and then I go on eBay, I go to antique shops, I find anything I possibly can about their past, and I design it and I usually place each piece on the guitar and then I'll take it off and then my husband will help me critique it because I just want it perfect for that person and the story behind it. I look for more personalized things like for example like Johnny Cash, he's my favorite, and Dolly. And um, I would look at his history and I'd find something about Sun Records. So it was really hard for me to find the little buttons with Sun Records on it or Columbia Records where he went after that. And I would continually look. I wouldn't stop until I had the storyline. Her guitars feature artists and others she likes and respects. Johnny Cash, Dolly Parton. You'd think finding objects to represent people like that would be easy, but it often takes some work. Right now, she's working on a Brad Paisley guitar. And that's not gonna work. I take them on, put them on, even if I glue it, sometimes I have to take it and untake it off the glue, but, and then I'll redo it again, because sometimes it doesn't look the way I want it. Sometimes the first time, it comes perfect, but then I have to redo some of them, like his right now, because his color is Paisley and it's very hard to find, okay? Yeah. It's very hard to find. Uh-huh. So what do you think? So far, so good. Yeah, I can't wait till the light is in it. What color is it like? It's paisley, apparently. That's why I'm going with the blue and the white. Paisley is... It's not even the color. I know, but that, when you go online... You're gonna it, need material. Exactly. So. Along the way, Josephine had another idea. The story she created needed a voice, and she knew a good one her own husband, Gordon. He's been writing poetry to me. I have a book so thick since we've been together and it's my life. It's my gift every year, whatever it is, anniversary, birthday. And I said, these need poetry. I kept telling him, you need to write songs because I believe in him as he believes in me. For my guitars, I believe in him for his poetry. And so Gordon writes a poem to go with each guitar, telling a tale like this one, for her Freedom Fighters creation. Many of them are just young kids, not old enough to drink, trying hard to sleep at night, desperate to catch a wink. Danger is their companion, fear is their best friend. Both make sure they stay alert for those they must defend. Then the world around them changes to a storm of steel and fire as they fight to keep us free at home, to stay alive is their one desire. Injury and death are faced and the price they pay is steep as the battles are relived each night when they finally fall asleep. We try to understand their pain, but not even a million writers could put into words the debt we owe to our country's freedom fighters. 
A story within a story created by an artistic storyteller who uses guitars as her canvas, Josephine Getz of Franklin.